So this is our objectives of our discussion. Discuss the importance of being a responsible citizen. Discuss the difference between privacy and security. Explain various risks to internet privacy. Netiquette. What is netiquette? Netiquette is constructed from the word net and etiquette. Netiquette also refers to a standard behavior of a human on how they use internet. So today, we will discuss about the rules of netiquette. Rules of professional online communication knows as netiquette. These rules will help communication with instruction, classmate, and potential employers more effectively and will help prevent misunderstanding. Remember the golden rules. Even though you may uh, be interacting with computer screen, you are communicating with a real person who will react to your message. So kung ayaw natin mabash o matrash talk, is tratuhin natin ng tama ang mga taong kausap natin sa online gaya ng pagtrato natin sa personal. Make a good impression. Treat others with the same respect that you would like to receive and avoid confrontational or offensive language. Another one is avoid slang, acronym, and text talk. Communication effectively in college and business environment requires the use of correct um, terminology, spelling, and grammar that can easily be or understood. For example, use your instead of your, or rather, you are. Dapat natin iwasan ang mga bagay na yan dahil ito ay natutulot ng hindi ng pagkakaintindihan sa mga bagay-bagay. Avoid screaming and type message. Typing an entire message using all capital letters is known as screaming. It is distracting and generally frowned upon in the professional environments. It is better to draw emphasis to selected words or phrases by using italic or bold text, using different color for text or background color, or denoting emphasis using special character. Example, important. Proofending your message before you send them is a best practice for effective and efficient communication. Strive to make your communication concise and free of any. First, spelling and grammar error. Second, confusing term or phrases that could be misunderstood. Third, error of omission such as missing content or recipient. Fourth, Error in accuracy of information. Ito ay para masiguro na malinaw at tama ang iyong mensahe bago ito ipadala na nagbibigay dahil sa epektibong komunikasyon. Exercise good judgment when sharing information with other online. Email and chat messages that you send or receive are considered private and should not be forwarded or copy to other without gaining the consent of all involved participants. In general messages, post to discussion boards and the public can read social media sites. You may never know who might read or share what you post. What you post. It is a good practice to always ask a post author for permission before you sharing a post with other parties. Ito ay isang mabuting paraan para maiwasan ang hindi inaasang mga isyo at masiguro ang respeto sa privacy ng mga tao sa online. To protect your privacy and safety, do not share online any sensitive personal information such as your home address or phone number. Second, personal conversation. Third, social plans such as vacation. Fourth, financial information. Fifth, username, password, or hints. And six, anything personal that you would not want shared by other over the internet. If the material you share with other online came from another source, make every effort to gain permission 
from the original author or copyright holder. Copying someone else's work and passing it off as your own is plagiarism. It's damaged your reputation and could subject you to serious academic and legal consequences. Respect diversity in viewpoint. Be constructive and respectful when sharing opinions, belief, and criticism, or responding to those of others in the conversation. When sharing a viewpoint that differs from someone else, this is a best practice to first acknowledge um, the other person by briefly um, restate, restating what he or she said, but in your own words, this lets a person know that you are listening and trying to understand them. Another is, when presenting an opinion or criticism, it is helpful to use phrases that identify to whose point of view you are referring. It is, um, opinion is yours. You can begin with the phrase in your experiences or in my opinion. It is a viewpoint or someone else. Make sure you identify that in your message. Example, according to Eric Exxon or the President's Believers. That's all our rules of netiquette. Let's proceed to our next reporter. Do shall not use the computer to harm other people. Remember, the human when communicating electronically, whether through email, instant message, discussion posts, text, or some other methods. Practice the golden rule. You shall not appropriate other people's intellectual output. For example, the program that you write for the project assigned in this course are your own intellectual output. Copying somebody else's program without a proper authorization is a software privacy is unethical. You shall not use other people's computer resources without authorization or proper competition. Do not use the computer in a way that may harm others. For example, harming or corrupting other users' files or data, stealing someone's information, hacking, spamming, and cyberbullying. Cybercrime. Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime hacking, phishing, spamming, and child pornography. is used as a tool to commit offense. There are three common forms of cybercrime. Copyright, plagiarism, computer addiction. Computer addiction are also a generally by online and offline version. Lastly, also computers have a related forgery, fraud, and identity theft. Example, electronic theft, cyberbullying, cybersex, child pornography. Hacking involves unauthorized access to any of your devices, like computer, desktop, and phones. It is easier made by online information, techniques, and malice. It is commonly used by cyber criminals known as hackers. Hackers are the knowledgeable type of people who steals your data and harm your system. They are mostly doing it for their bad intentions. Malware is typically spread through malicious website, email, software, and can be hidden in various files, including images, documents, and exit files. Malware infects networks and devices causing harm to user or endpoints. The type and goal of the harm vary from mild to disastrous. All types exploit devices for the hacker's benefits resulting in harm to the user. It is commonly done to steal your data or to control your device. Farming is a threat similar to phishing, using malicious code on the victim's device to redirect them to an attack control website, eliminating the need for a user to click a link or reply to an email or message. In a phishing attack, it is a threat 
that crafts an email that looks like an official business to mislead users. The phishing email usually contains a link that the user must click for the attacker to succeed. Phishing can also incorporate social engineering to enhance the effectiveness of the attack and increase the possibility of successfully stealing money or data from the intended victim. The goals of a phishing scam are stealing from victims, performing identity theft, purchasing items, and getting victims to act or to install malware on their devices themselves. Spam is the electronic version of junk mail. It involves sending unwanted messages, often unsolicited advertising, to a large number of recipients. Spam is a serious security concern at is, as it can be used to deliver email that could contain Trojan horses, viruses, worms, spyware, and targeted attacks aimed at obtaining sensitive personal identification information. Computer viruses can cause damage to programs, files, or hard drives, replicate or flood networks, disrupting system performance, sapping memory, and causing frequent crashes. Viruses can be spread through networks, disk, email, attachments, or external storage devices with Early computer viruses often found on infected floppy disks due to limited device connection. Eavesdropping attacks involve a hacker intercepting, deleting, or modifying data transmitted between two devices. They exploit vulnerability in unsecured network communications, often involving sensitive business data sent to colleagues. These day attacks are difficult to detect and may not negatively impact device or network performance. A computer worm is a type of Trojan horse malware that can self-replicate without human activation after breaching a system. It spreads through an internet or LAN connection and uses social engineering to deceive users into running it. So there are nine types of computer worm. The first one is Morris worm. Bagel, Blaster, Conflicker, MyDoom, Ryuk, SQL, Slammer, Stormworm, and Stocknet. 